Let's play a mini game. There are three hidden travel CPAP devices somewhere on this screen. Can you find them? Hi, I'm Ruben from respshop.com, your full service online retailer for everything CPAP. Travel CPAP devices can sometimes be viewed as a necessary evil for those who like to go camping or travel regularly for work or pleasure. But over the years, travel CPAPs have increasingly become a more viable alternative to use regularly for your ongoing sleep therapy needs, while continuing to have smaller footprints. Speaking of small footprint devices, there are none smaller than the ResMed Air Mini. Packed with features yet fits in the palm of your hand, you might just need to be careful you don't lose it. Now where did I put it? Ah, here we go. This video will be diving into what makes the Air Mini one of the most popular travel units on the market today. This is a big unit in terms of popularity, so let's take a look why. Well as always we've got a little bit of housekeeping to do but let's see if I can get through this in five seconds or less for you. Here we go. At Resp Shop, our goal is to produce the best CPAP content on YouTube, so give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell. Did I make it? Ah, okay, well, enough with the games. Let's get serious and take a deep dive into this unit. The Air Mini has been available for a number of years now. It was ResMed's first travel device released to the market and is still their current and only model in the category. And so if you have watched any other review videos on our channel, particularly of ResMed units, you won't find any groundbreaking features on the Mini that aren't available elsewhere. And that's of course because those came afterwards, so the technology was already developed. Plus, they have larger footprints, etc. But the highly compact footprint is still one of the massive advantages that the Mini has over other ResMed models, as well as most other travel devices. Both at the time of its release and still to this day, the Air Mini is the smallest CPAP machine available. It measures just 5.4 inches wide by 3.3 inches tall by 2.1 inches deep, and it fits very comfortably in the palm of your hand, in your trouser pocket, or hidden behind a desk plant. So for those of you who are mostly concerned with buying as portable of a unit as possible, then you should definitely take a close look at what else the Air Mini has to offer. And while a little bit odd by comparison to one of the larger units at first, this unit can be used as your everyday machine. But if that will be the primary use for whichever CPAP machine you are looking to buy next, then there's likely better options than the Air Mini. And here's why. Firstly, there are just a number of limiting factors that come into play when working with a device this small. You likely won't have the same level of features as a full-size unit, simply because of the physical limitations, which is true of any CPAP device. Now, ResMed did their best to offset some of these natural limitations with a few innovations on the Air Mini with mixed success. As you can tell at first glance, the Air Mini does not have a traditional humidifier attached. This is of course common on travel devices, Philips DreamStation Go being the exception. And as you are likely aware, no humidifier normally means drier air, which in turn can lead to a dry mouth. The way ResMed tried to combat this, while still keeping the footprint of the device so small, is by incorporating a unique filter. They call these heat moisture exchange filters, or HME filters, and they come in two styles, the Humid X and the Humid X Plus. Now what they are designed to do is to screw into this special tubing that is only for the Air Mini, more on that later, and then as you breathe out, the heat and the moisture from your exhalation is captured in these HME filters so that when you breathe in, air passes through the filter and the trapped heat and moisture from your exhalation is sent back into your lungs. In other words, you recycle the heat and moisture of your own breath. Kind of an interesting concept. The difference between the Humid X and the Humid X Plus is the Plus captures even more moisture and so is recommended for particularly dry climates. So if you intend to take this travel device to the snowy mountains or to the Arizona desert, then grab a few of these Humid X Plus filters. Now these filters are of course more expensive than your average CPAP air filter, and ResMed does recommend replacing the cartridges every 30 days, and they can begin to smell before that, so you may find yourself replacing them more regularly. That's one of the reasons that this is probably not a good choice for an everyday machine when you consider that these cartridges are about 50 bucks for a six pack. 
Overall, I like the inventive concept of a system that gives some of the benefits of humidification without the need for a physical humidifier attached to the unit. And the humidification amount that you'll get from the Air Mini might be fine for a night or two while away. But if you are used to having a designated humidifier with your CPAP device, then this will certainly feel like a step backwards in regards to comfort. Another point of difference of this machine that is directly correlated to the HME filters is that the unique style of this tubing on the Air Mini. This tubing is different to what you see in every other CPAP device and that's for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it means that the air inlet connector from the device itself is smaller, which helps when the unit is designed to be so small. And also it allows for this chamber to house the filters. The downside to this is that because the Air Mini requires this connection style with your mask as well, it means that you have to use one of the three ResMed masks, the P10 nasal pillow mask, the N20 nasal mask, or the F20 full face mask. So if you have a different model of mask that you're comfortable with, then frustratingly, you won't be able to use it with the Air Mini. When you purchase the Air Mini through respshop.com, you can choose your preferred style of mask that the unit will ship with, and they're all very similar prices. Something else that you've probably noticed as I've been showing you this machine is that there is no screen. In fact, there are only two buttons on this entire device, the start stop button and a small Bluetooth button. So how do you operate this unit and get feedback from your sleep therapy? Well, it's all done from the Air Mini app. You can download the app for your Apple or Android device and the pairing with the Air Mini is easy and doesn't require you to make an account, which is nice. Once paired, you'll have quick access to view details of your sleep therapy from the past month from the app's dashboard. This at-a-glance info is designed to give a simple snapshot of the entire night's therapy, rather than any hourly breakdown or immersive data points for more detailed self-monitoring of your sleep therapy. This is because the Air Mini is targeted as being a travel device, and so for those who like to upload their data in third-party software and monitor their waveforms, this is another example of why it probably wouldn't be a good everyday device for you. One thing to note is that there is no SD card slot on the Air Mini either, so the only memory is internal, and there's not much internal memory at that, seeing as it only records one month of usage, and there is no easy way to get that usage data back. From the Sleep tab, you can access the device settings, such as your EPR, Auto Start and Stop, and Ramping settings, which includes sleep detection. If you're unsure what these mean, get in touch with us at respshop.com. We have respiratory therapists, polysomnographic techs, and a nurse on staff to guide you through the details of CPAP machines, their common features, and terminology. If you want to access the clinician menu, then tap the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth icon from the dashboard and then press and hold the ResMed and Air Mini logos with two different fingers for a couple of seconds. The clinician menu allows you to change the device mode, which includes auto set for her, adjust the pressure and comfort settings and more. From the sleep tab, you can turn the unit on or off, or you can always do so manually on the device itself. And then once turned on, this is also where you can monitor your sleep therapy in real time. I like the simplicity of the app. It's easy to navigate and pretty streamlined. Most everything you'd want access to is only a few clicks from the root menu, and the connectivity is fast and simple. So for handy quick info that's available wirelessly, it performs very well in my opinion. That being said, if you are someone who doesn't own or use a smart device, then the Air Mini is definitely not for you, as this device simply isn't designed to function without one. The last couple of things to note is that travel machines are typically more noisy than standard units. Their small body means that there is no room for sound abatement foam, and because they often have smaller motors, these motors have to work a little harder to produce the air pressure required. Quite honestly, the difference in sound is minimal with the Air Mini. This is still a very quiet machine, and I've heard next to no complaints about the sound level from users who use this device regularly. The other item to consider when evaluating whether or not the Air Mini is right for you is power options. Of course, if you are looking to buy a travel CPAP device, the chances are that you'll be using this machine somewhere that doesn't have access to a traditional power outlet at some point. And that is not a problem with the Air Mini. ResMed have made an Air Mini DC converter so that you can power the device from a 12 or 24 volt cigarette lighter. But let's say you're taking the device camping in the wilderness and won't have access to any form of power, then you'd need to pick up a battery power supply. 
ResMed does not make one of these for the Air Mini, but there are reputable aftermarket models built for CPAP devices, and you'd get one to two nights of use from these, depending on your pressure settings. These battery power supplies cost hundreds of dollars, but can often be used on more than just the Air Mini. But if you don't already own what you need, consider the additional cost of accessories you'd likely want to buy with the Air Mini to make it truly travel friendly. So in summary, what do I think of the Air Mini and is it a good unit for you? Well, I personally think that ResMed currently still has the best product line and their focus on app-driven feedback of your sleep therapy is better than anyone else's on the market, which I think is important. Being a leader of the industry, you know that the support and advancement of their various software and internal algorithms is going to continue and you find plenty of aftermarket accessories and support from other users. It's very compact and it's lightweight, and I like the ingenuity of thought behind features like the heat moisture exchange system. But whether you enjoy sleeping with this added weight close to your airway depends on the user. Most people don't mind, but I have heard of others who find this unit unusable because of it. So why would you pass on the Air Mini? Well, if you are looking for a hybrid machine to use as your everyday CPAP device, but also want one that is reasonably portable, then the Air Mini is probably too far on the portable side. This is a travel case. The HME filters are not a like-for-like -like replacement to a designated humidifier for prolonged use. Another reason to pass on the Air Mini is if you love a particular style of mask that isn't compatible with the unit. Remember, you will need to use one of the three ResMed masks that have the correct attachment for the unit. And lastly, you might not choose the Air Mini because of price. It's one of the more expensive units to purchase. Plus, the HME filters cost considerably more than your typical CPAP filter. But bear in mind, you can still buy a regular filter for the Air Mini if you prefer. You would just be losing one of the unit's strongest selling features by doing so. So overall, if you are looking to buy a travel CPAP that you can easily pick up and go when needed, then the Air Mini, it's a solid choice. You'll find useful accessories, plenty of options to power it away from traditional power sources, and a unit that slides in and out of your bag easily. And it still provides a good sleep therapy experience over a short spell. You won't spend the first half hour of your trip trying to connect the unit to your phone because the setup is super fast and the app itself is user-friendly and succinct. I actually really like it. You'll also not need to have access to distilled water in order to get some form of humidification during the night, which is another great benefit if you are taking this tent camping or somewhere that your access to distilled water would be very difficult or too heavy to pack. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell. I've left links to the unit as well as some useful accessories in the description box below. So go check those out. If you have any further questions on this unit and whether it would be a good choice for someone like you, because let's face it, everybody's needs for their sleep therapy is unique, then please give us at Resp Shop a call or visit our site and wherever you are, sleep tight. Till next time, bye bye.